Recording. All right, folks, how's it going? Today is 4:20. To any of you that interest yourself in the variants of 4:20, happy 4:20 to you. I don't, so it's just another day. But I just got done changing the oil on the gold wing, uh, draining the uh, tube for the air box for the oil bypass. Cleaned a few things, checked a few things, gonna take it for a real quick test spin. And I also moved my highway pegs forward a notch. Let's see if I like that better because they're sitting back a little too far, I think. So I thought I'd give it a shot while I had it up in the air. So ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna take this for a quick little spin. Head back around the Harley. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. Here's the Rogue King. Haven't taken that out yet this year. Should be taking it out soon, though. And the bike sounds good. The oil level's fine. Close the door. Just going to take it down the road back, check out the highway pegs, and uh, go from there. Should be a quick ride. So they say in the last time they die. Hope not. Right, let's see what we get. A little chilly here in Michigan today. It's 35 degrees when I woke up this morning. Uh, it's probably in the mid 40s now. And I can feel it. It's kind of cold. 42,270 miles on the odometer when I change the oil. Close to 71. Woo! Yeah, that's brisk. Just want to take her back and put her back in the garage, make sure there's no oil leaks, which there shouldn't be. I ran it for a while. And I also want to check out the highway peg, so we'll flip those out here in a moment. I'm 40, well, I guess I should say I'm 30 now, 39 miles short of uh, 1,000 miles so far for the year. It ain't bad just for riding back and forth to work. Hey, yeah, that's not bad. It's about ready for the heels. Still a little bit. Maybe I'll go for one more notch. I might move those forward one more. I'll we'll give us a shot for a while too, we think. I think one more notch would be good though. I think one more bolt far pattern forward. Yeah, it feels pretty good though, actually. We'll see how this works for a while. And if we don't like it, we'll move forward. I might move. I don't know. One more. Be up there probably. I'm not sure. Right now, I, can, well, I can't because of the way these things are built. But I can still put the heel up, get her straight up. I think it's pretty good, actually. I think I'll leave them there for right now. I'll see what I think of it. Give it a little time. Quite a bit of adjustability on these highway pegs. Uh, Rivco, I think, makes them. I got a lot of different bolt patterns you can put them in to make them for different length riders. I had it set all the way back originally because I thought I wanted it there. It's been like that for the last few years, four years almost. It's pretty comfortable. I like it. I think I'll leave it there for a while. Whew! It is brisk. Yeah, I finally decided to change the oil. I've been riding it since the beginning of March on the oil from last year. I usually ride it around a while and I first get her out before I change the oil. I've never been that person to change the oil at the end of the season. I know there's supposed to be reasons why you should do it and everything, but... I don't know. I keep it in a heated garage, so... I'm not overly concerned about it. about those brakes. 
I got like three or four videos on this thing. I got to get edited and put together. I was thinking about breaking out the iMac later. The, the Mac Pro, I mean, maybe getting away from using the iPad a little bit and start using the Mac Pro again. For what little editing I do, I never use the computer anymore, so I got the smart TV. So it's kind of a waste all the money I spent on it. Maybe I should start taking it on trips. Although the iPad Pro does do a pretty good job. Just Everything seems good with this. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Go home and get warm. My legs are freezing. Put the Harley back in the garage. Riveting video, as always, or most of my videos are that amazing. Oh, you're right. Sorry for the wind. We're going to head home and open. We're being really, really warm to being pretty cold today. I'm hearing people, I don't know if it's true, but friend Davey says this fucking weather is going to be hotter than shit this year. Watches those farmers' reports and different things, I guess. So, I'll be interested to see if that's correct. I'm hoping for not a hot year. If it's hot here, whoo! It could be Mike down in North Carolina. If it's hot here, it's gonna be a scorcher there. They're saying Texas is gonna be like, holy Satan's butthole. Mm. Warm, 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 warm. Success.